Hey guys, for those who don't know, my name is Michaela, and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something that's really important to me that sticks true to my heart and I honestly hope by posting this I can help other people or inspire other people because I'm just here to share my wisdom and what I went through and yeah, I hope I can help someone. So in 2019, I dropped out of college. So when I graduated, I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do. I was kind of stuck because everyone was forcing me to go to university or college. My parents were like, that's the only way. Like you're going to college and that's it. You're getting a degree and that's it. Like no, like nothing in between. Like that's, that was it. Like that's what was happening for them was I was going to college or university and I was getting a degree. So when I was graduating, I was actually very stressed because first of all, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Second of all, I had no idea what colleges I wanted to go to. Third of all, I did not even want to go to college because I knew deep down right from the beginning before I even graduated high school that college just wasn't for me. So my parents forced me to go. That was kind of the only way things were happening at that time. And I also felt like I didn't really have a choice. Even though I really didn't want to go, I felt like I didn't have another choice. All my friends were going. Pretty much almost everybody I knew was going to college university right after they graduated and that one or two people that didn't go were shamed upon and were kind of an outcast and people never understood why they wouldn't go so i just went kind of out of the fear and i was also forced to go i entered into nursing prerequisites because i honestly had no other idea what to do i just did it because one of my friends was doing it and i kind of knew a few people that were going to be in the nursing program or finish the nursing program so i was like you know what i'll just do that because i don't know what else to do it's not because nursing was going to make me happy or the schooling was gonna make me happy. I just did it because I didn't know what else to do. So I signed up and I got into two, I got into a university and I got into a college and I decided to go to the college because it was cheaper and I didn't need to go to like the university at first. College was like a good start. So I went there and I did my first semester and I realized right after my first semester, nursing is not for me. Like I was in science course and I'm like, I hate science and I was thinking to myself like why am I in nursing like I literally hate science and I was very bad at science and I just don't have the energy to apply myself to do science because I hated it that much yeah I just was not having it my first semester not having it I was unhappy in school I was also working and I was just kind of living my day-to-day -day life like a robot I never really thought of what I really want and then coming second semester I realized like well I don't want to do nursing so what the heck am I gonna do and I talked to my parents about it and they're like well you have to stay in school like you have to get a degree and I wanted to start video editing because that was honestly my passion was doing YouTube I've had a YouTube channel for a long time now but I never took it seriously because I always had other things that were priorities over my YouTube and over my passion for like video editing and stuff and filming so I, I really wanted to pursue that but my parents were like you know what like you you have to go to school you have to get a degree and they were very adamant on it like no 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 and I was like okay well I guess I have no other choice it was either that or I move out and pay rent somewhere else at that point that's like how much they wanted me to stay in school so I I did my second semester and I took just random courses to see if they would interest me me. I wasn't taking the nursing prerequisites anymore and I just again wasn't happy with what I was doing I didn't enjoy any of my courses school was always such a drag for me it always made me unhappy the only thing that was good about school was I met some new friends but that's pretty much it that's the only thing that motivated me really to actually wake up and go into college almost every day so at the end of that semester I was just so unhappy and I decided I was gonna talk to my parents again so I talk to them again and I was like I can't see myself doing any career that a degree is gonna get I've looked through the pamphlets I've looked through the website I've looked through the courses like I can't see myself doing anything that a degree is gonna get because I consider myself a very creative person and I love expressing that through my YouTube channel and through my videos and that's my passion and college or university didn't really have anything to offer me that would really make me as happy as doing this eventually after begging and begging and talking and convincing I convinced my parents to let me 
take one semester off of school. So I got the summer off and then I got like one semester. During that se semester, they were like, you know what, like, fine, because they realized that I really wasn't enjoying school, I guess. And I was actually really proud of myself for breaking through that first barrier because that was honestly the hardest barrier to break through because in my head before that, I was like, there's no way, like they're ever gonna let me drop out of school. Like there's no way. So our agreement was I would take like a semester off. That semester ended up being now, it's almost been two years. It's been a year and a half and I've never been happier. Now I wrote some notes on my phone because I just like, when I, sometimes I forget to say stuff when I'm like talking. So I really just wanna make sure that I get down and dirty. First of all, it's honestly really sad to me that that in today's society, if you don't go to college or university, you're literally frowned upon. I worked at a restaurant and I would get customers asking me all the time, like, oh, like, what are you doing? Like, what school do you go to? Like, what courses are you taking? And then I'd say to them, I'd be like, oh, I'm just taking like a year off now. And their faces were would automatically flip and they'd be like, when are you going back to school? Do you have a timeline? It was just kind of like, holy shit, they really look at you like you're a completely different person once you tell them that you're not in school. I was like, wow, is this what society is? Is, has come to out of high school but like we're so young we have our whole lives ahead of us why is there a need to jump into school if you have no idea what you want to do learning what I have learned there is no point if you're unsure of what to do to force yourself to do something if you didn't like bananas but the majority of people loved bananas and then people were frowning upon you for not liking a banana so you you, you force yourself to eat the banana why would you eat that banana if you didn't like the banana why are you going to school if you can't see a future within school if you're not going to get a job that you're gonna love for the rest of your life in school whatever you want to do do it regardless of people's opinions okay i got frowned upon so many times telling people that i'm not in school like they literally think of me as a completely different person it's not even funny like people just think that you're a burnout like automatically they make these assumptions about you just because you're not at school and it's like holy crap just because I'm not in school doesn't mean I'm not a good person, doesn't mean I don't have goals in life, doesn't mean I'm not gonna be successful. If you're scared of people judging you, you're never gonna live your own life because you're just going off of what other people think. Like if I stayed in school, because of what my parents thought or what because of other people thought, then I would be so unhappy right now and I wouldn't be where I am today. If you could go and start working a nine to five job because that's what society says is the best thing to do, then you're literally slaving your life away. As soon as you get that job, you literally sold your life away. And that's how I think of it. If you're working a job that you don't like, you are literally selling your life to that company because if you don't enjoy it, that is eight hours, five days a week at least that's not even including overtime that people do that's not even including some people's commutes if you have a half an hour drive to work and a half an hour drive back mark an extra hour onto those hours if you have an hour drive then that's even longer and then it's like okay you go to work in the morning come back home and then you gotta get ready eat dinner and go to bed prepare for your next day of work it's not like you get to come home and enjoy the rest of your day no because you're always thinking about your work you always have to go to bed early to wake up the next day for your job that you dislike and it's like why would you keep yourself in that cycle if it's making you unhappy just because society says that you need to go to school to be successful or you need to work a nine to five to make enough money that doesn't mean you actually have to do that if it makes you unhappy if going to school makes you happy and if a nine to five if your nine to five job makes you happy and it's something you really love to do and if school is something you really love to do it lets you want to become a doctor and you are really passionate about that then that's amazing for you like that's great but I'm talking about the people who don't want to work that nine to five job and who don't enjoy school and don't see a career path for them after graduating school why would you make yourself unhappy and literally slave the rest of your life away people literally act like once you're done university you're you're done like people are like oh you just have like a few more years then you're graduated and then you're done you're not done you're never done until you retire and then once you retire you're pretty much old and wrinkly and you can't do anything anyways so this is a quote that I just heard. Most people die at 18 and they don't get buried until 85. Do you get it? Pretty much like once you enter that system, the nine to fives, the university that you don't like, you're pretty much dead because you're slaving your life away. You're not living your life. We live in the universe, in a universe that's infinite, on a planet, on a floating planet, and we're wasting our lives doing some stuff that we don't like? That's bullshit to me. That is literally bullshit to me. Think about that. Think about how messed up that is. I'm pretty sure like the last time I checked, the point of life 
life is to enjoy life. This is what really gets to me is when people say, oh, that's just life. Bitch, no, it is not. That is not just life. Life is what you make it. If you make life being miserable in a nine to five job or being miserable in school, if that's what you make life, then that's what life is gonna be. But if you make life what you want it to be and what makes you happy and you do what makes you happy, then that's gonna be your life. It's not, that's just life. No, 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 no. Life is what you make it. If you put your energy towards something you don't like doing, that is a complete waste of energy. Playing it safe will never, 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 never get you far, okay? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward people going to university or going to college and then getting that nine to five job, that is playing it safe. And what's gonna come out of that? Unless you enjoy it, you're gonna be a slave to society. You're always gonna regret not taking that chance and not taking that opportunity. If you're 30, 40, 50 years old working that miserable job that you hated just because you wanted to play it safe, you're gonna always think, you're gonna be like, holy shit, what if I took that opportunity and I could have been, I could have been doing my dream job right now. I could have been living my dream life right now, but I never took that opportunity. You're always going to regret the opportunities that you don't take. And it's like, yeah, you can play it safe. Yeah, I could have been miserable, gotten a degree, and then did this. But it's like, then all those years of my life would have been gone to the complete complete trash because my parents were telling me like oh just get a degree and then you can do what you want after that what's the point of getting a degree if i'm not going to use it afterwards that's literally a waste of time it's a waste of my life it's a waste of money i see no value in that at all because if you know for certain that a degree isn't going to help you you don't want a job that you're going to need a degree for then what the heck is the point of getting one and then doing do, doing your stuff after that's just so stupid to me fight for what you want today or you'll have time to cry for it tomorrow Okay. Gary V says, when you're in your 20s, is your years to experiment. What do you like doing? What do you not like doing? Why are people throwing them themselves in, in school or in jobs that they hate? Imagine your favorite YouTuber that you watch or your favorite artist that you listen to. Imagine they decided to play it safe and they listened to their parents and they didn't go after their dreams and they didn't start that YouTube channel. They didn't start to become like an artist. Imagine that. Imagine where those people would be right now if, if, they've, if they never chased after their dreams. And some people would be like, oh, they just got lucky. Luck isn't a thing. Everything that happens in your life is created from your thoughts and the work that you put in. Nothing has to do with luck. They took that risk to start that and look at the reward that they have now. It is scary to drop out of school. It's scary to make that first move. The first move I feel like is always the biggest move, which is either dropping out of school, quitting your job or whatever. The first move is gonna be the biggest move, but you have to make that to lead you to your other steps. And the big move for me was dropping out of college. And it's like, yeah, at first maybe I was a little scared because some people were telling me like, oh, this is so stupid. Like when you're going back to school and it's like that kind of gets into your head but it's like no like if you are so passionate about something you will make it happen no matter what obviously you can't just like sit on the couch and not do anything all day and expect things to come to you if you put in that work you put in that time you put in your energy and you're consistent with it trust me you guys you can do anything you put your mind to and it is society it is us as a whole that literally tries to trick us that that we can't do it because it's not safe that we can't do it because no one else is doing it that dropping out of school School is so dumb right it's so dumb that I dropped out of school so I can live a happy life that is so dumb right yeah that sounds so stupid society literally instills fear into us because no one wants to see you succeed like once you do what you're passionate about and you become happy everyone's gonna start to be jealous of you and they're not gonna want you to succeed and society literally will instill fear into you so that you don't succeed and that is the issue like that's what you got to overcome you got to overcome people's opinions you got to overcome society's opinions as a whole you got to overcome that fear and once you overcome that fear it's beautiful because you realize that you you can really chase your dreams and you can really make things happen. You just have to really believe in yourself and you gotta throw away that fear, honey. Just tune people out. I've learned to tune people out. If I tell someone that I'm not in school and they don't like it, I don't give a shit anymore, okay? In the past, I'd be like kind of down about it, like a little bit, but now I literally don't give a shit. Pe people can tell me all they want that it's a dumb decision, but as long as I'm happy, I really don't give a shit. Like, think about it. People are just jealous if you're happy and living your dream life because they're gonna wish that they did that. So just think of that. And that's why people are are gonna frown upon you and make you seem like you're crazy for doing that is because in the end, they're just gonna be jealous that you took that step and you were brave enough to go for it. You were brave enough to go for your dreams. Like when I really thought about working a nine to five job doing something that I don't like, when you put that into perspective, 
perspective, it's literally your whole life gone. It's literally your whole life gone. And if I stayed in school, that's my youth gone. That's literally my youth gone. These years of your life, these young years are so important. They're gonna dictate your whole future, whether you went for it or whether you didn't. All it takes is for you to believe in yourself, to not care about what people think, to say, you society that's what you have to say the thing is is following society is the normal following society is the regular like almost pretty much everyone i know that i graduated with is in school right now like it's a given like everyone who graduates go, goes to college or goes to university almost everyone breaking out of that cycle and breaking you breaking the norm that's so hard because obviously everyone else is doing it but by breaking out of that it's like wow like i really did that like i'm the only person i know that that's not in school and that I'm starting on my dreams. I'm working towards them. That's some cool shit, okay? Your life isn't gonna wait for you. Your, your life doesn't pause. Life keeps going on. At the end of the day, I wanna live my own life and I wanna live my life the way that I want to. I don't wanna work a corporate nine to five job that I'm only gonna get two weeks off in a year and I'm gonna be working 48 hours a week. I don't want that life for myself. I, I, I wanna travel. I wanna be on the go. I wanna be able to go on a vacation whenever I want to and not have to put my time take time off in advance and it's like oh am i gonna get it off or am i not like are you kidding me we live on a floating earth in the middle of space in the middle of this whole universe and people don't get time off of work to go on a vacation people are working every day of their lives like it's kind of crazy if you really think about it what society has come to i heard this quote and it's like we're the most evolved smartest species but we're the only species that pay to eat like think about that there's only one percent of people in the world that hold all the wealth that holds all the control and everyone else is the 99 percent that are just going along that wave of society that one percent they don't like when you break free and they don't like when you when you actually do what you want to do and follow your dreams they don't like that because you're you're not being a slave to them you're not being a slave slave to to society so this is your sign if if you want to drop out of school if something else makes you way happier go and do that because if you spend one more second doing what you hate, that's just such a waste of time. It's like being in an unhappy relationship with someone. Let's say you've been dating this person for five years and then you're like, oh, I don't want to break up with them because I've already been doing it for five years and I've already like you wasted too much time. So it's like, okay, so you're just gonna then give away the rest of your life um, just because you spent five years doing that. Like, just think about that. It's never too late to start living. It's never too late to follow your dreams. This is your sign, you guys. This is your sign to do what you've always wanted to do. Seriously, it's pathetic if you don't. I'm sorry to say it, but it's pathetic. Playing it safe is pathetic. It's not gonna get you anywhere. It's not gonna make you happy. Okay, life is not oh, that's just life No, 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 no life is what you make it so start today and start making your life amazing Ever since I dropped out of college That's when I really got to know myself and I really got to know what I want in life And I really got to set goals for myself and it's like wow looking how far I've come from when I was in school till now I'm literally a whole different person I've learned so many lessons along the way and I would not trade it for a thing The biggest thing I think that I've learned is not to to give a crap about what other people think of you that's probably the most important part because that's what is gonna hold you back the most is if you care about what other people think especially like your family and your close friends but at the end of the day if they don't support you for what makes you happy then they're not worth it they're not worth being in your life because that just means that they really don't want you to thrive and they really don't want you to be happy not caring about what people think is so freeing and it really does allow you to do what you want to do now i'm literally like i don't give a shit what you say like are, are you happy doing your nine to five job i don't think so so mm, go and get your dream job go and live your dream life because life is too short okay we're all gonna be dead anyways one day and when you're on your deathbed looking back on your life what do you want your life to be think about that are you gonna regret your decisions that you've made when you're on your deathbed and do you really want to die regretting your whole life no like the point of life to me at least is to live the happiest life that i can and to have the most love and to give the most love and to just be happy and really live life and learn lessons along the way i've started my journey obviously going to school and everything was a part of my journey but it's just crazy how well i've got to know know myself and the things that i've attracted into my life and things that i've manifested from when i started doing what i love things are just 
keep falling into place and it's the most amazing thing yeah honestly i have this book and it's called ask and it is given this is it and i started reading it and it is such a good book if you guys like want some motivation i would suggest reading this also what also helps change like my perspective on everything was watching the movie it's called the secret and it's on netflix when i watched that that really got me into a whole different mindset of life and it's just crazy how far i've come since i've watched that movie and now reading this book it's crazy and i just want to help and i want to motivate everyone watching this right now that you don't need to listen to what society tells you you don't need to listen to what your parents tell you okay seriously if if it's gonna make you happy then go for it and do it because you're always gonna regret not doing that thing that you wanted to do you're always gonna regret it live life with no regrets like it's so cheesy but seriously live your life with no regrets do what you want to do society okay that's what i have to say today that was my ted talk i'm so happy that i got to sit down with you guys and talk this is like the first time i've ever really done a sit down video like this and talked about something super kind of personal and close to my heart but i really want to like help everyone out you're always going to regret the chances that you don't take and you're always going to wonder Go live your dream life. Go do what you want to do. I'm so happy I sat down to do this. I hope I at least helped one person watching this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below or even message me on Instagram or something because I will definitely make another video about this and go more into depth with any questions that you guys have. So let me know any questions or what else you guys want me to talk about in my journey and in my experience. Let me know anything you guys want to hear. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I will see you guys guys in my next one peace out yeah baby live your life okay peace out